They said, sell all your crypto. Welcome to the circus. I ain't gonna give in now. I just gotta live this now. I ain't gonna be mine. I'ma kill this stuff real quick. I'ma go take it to town. Cause I gotta be that king in the ring when I'm not killing me when I'm back with the real. Cause I am just stuck on the journey. You just know that I'm just going to say. Warriors rise. We're gonna dive into a video today where JP Morgan's telling you to sell all your crypto. We're going to visit some old videos from a couple of years ago to help you understand how deep this manipulation is. My name is Coach JV. I am the top health, mindset, crypto, and business coach in the world. Remember what you believe in your heart, you think in your mind will eventually become your words and become your reality. If you can see it in your mind, eventually you can hold it right here in your hands. What you repeatedly do gets ingrained in your subconscious mind. What gets ingrained in your subconscious mind becomes an unconscious activity. And you have to believe that the news you're reading is 99% not truth. It's an agenda to program your subconscious mind to get you to move a certain way that benefits a certain group of people. So if you want to join our private warrior Academy and completely radically change your mindset to abundance, light, love, and positivity, subconscious mind programming, goal setting, vision board creation, access to my portfolio, our revolutionary exit strategy, seven calls per week in the best community in the world. Click the description down below. We are not financial advisors. None of it's financial advice. We're just a group of people rising together to take back our freedom, not against anybody, our freedom that's always been available. All right, so we're going to dive right into this. Okay, so I want to show you some older videos that I kind of started my YouTube channel with when I started to look at Tika Tawari. Okay, so Tika Tawari uh, was really big in cryptocurrency, had the five coins to five million. And I became very obsessed with a lot of his content because um, he got me into like the deep research, right? So I watched the five coins to five million with Tika Tawari. And then a gentleman came walking into our facility I had started getting into crypto and he brought up XRP and that's how my whole journey started. And I became obsessed with it. I was obsessed with studying banking and the inner workings of how this system was built and manipulated. And then when I understood cryptocurrency and the new financial system, it's like, wow, this is deep. So we're going to watch the first part of this video. This is when he met with Glenn Beck. Uh, this was back in, excuse me, this was back in 2017. I think it was 2000. Let's look at the date here. Let's get these dates right. Okay, so he this was posted on November 20, uh, November 2018, but I think the video was a little bit earlier. And this is from Moving Time Peace, Time Lapse on YouTube, if you want to see. They did a great job of redoing this video here. So let's listen to this first part of the video, okay? So this is back like the 2017. They had the big crypto collapse, right? So there was 2017, and then we had the four-year cycle, and then but we came back, and then we're now in a bear market. We're going to have the four-year cycle. We have the Bitcoin halving in 2024, and we've always said in 2025, we're going to see some price appreciation, okay? So listen to the first part, and then we're going to fast forward to 2022, what JP Morgan is saying now about all your crypto. On September 12th, Jamie Dimon says Bitcoin is a fraud. He says he'll fire any one of his traders buying Bitcoin. Bitcoin drops 24%. When Jamie Dimon speaks, people listen, people listen. So that weekend, we found out that the largest buyer of a, of a Bitcoin fund that's in Europe that buys physical Bitcoin right? The largest buyer was Morgan Stanley and JP Morgan. And that's not illegal. He says it's a fraud. It says he fire anyone that buys it. Yes. And at the same time, his company is buying his it. His company is buying it. So you're, it's just, I mean, so unethical. Right. Okay. George Soros. George. Okay. So that was JP Morgan, who's the CEO, or excuse me, Jamie Dimon, the CEO of uh, JP Morgan right? Morgan Stanley. So this is some of the articles here in 2017. This was September 12th, 2017. JP Morgan CEO, Jamie Dimon says Bitcoin is a fraud. They will eventually blow up. It's the worst than a tulip bulbs. It won't even, uh, it won't end well. Someone is going to get killed. Dimon said Bitcoin fell to its trade around its season to the lowest after Dimon's comments. So after his comments, it collapsed down, right? Morgan Stanley hedge fund poured two billion into cryptos in 2017. 2017, Jamie Dimon says you're a criminal 
and Bitcoin's a fraud. Morgan Stanley hedge fund pours $2 billion into cryptos in 2017. Why would Morgan Stanley pour $2 billion into cryptocurrencies if cryptocurrency is a fraud? And they're not, you don't think they're connected to the central banks and federal reserve, the federal reserve and all these, you know, high level officials. Okay. This was Morgan Stanley in 2017 buys a stake in Overstock cryptocurrency. Morgan Stanley went shopping in Overstock.com and it had nothing to do with the discounted leather sofa. The Wall Street Bank has purchased 11.4% stake in the web retailer just days before the Salt Lake City Company's cryptocurrency trading goes live. I didn't know that I didn't even know that Overstock was in cryptocurrency trading. That was on December 11th, 2017. So September 12th, he said that. Morgan Stanley, December 20th, 2017. December 11th, they dive into cryptocurrency as it collapses. Well, this is all over the news right now. JP Morgan's Kelly says, buy value, sell crypto with hawkish Fed. Okay. Investors should overweight value and relatively low key stocks. Fed is overestimating the strength of the economy. So if we scroll down, you can read this whole article. Um, and where's it at right here? Okay, it says Kelly recommends steer clear. Now, this is this is what people are reading. This is people are reacting to this and they're doing this. Kelly recommends steering clear of large cap tech stocks. Of course, everything's going to come collapsing back down. In the Business Insider article on Monday, they talked about the all of our picks, the cryptocurrency influencers went down 75%. GameStop went down 85%. <laughs> all these stocks went down massively. Okay. So Kelly recommends steering clear of large cap tech stocks and Bitcoin and selling your crypto. So people are reading this and they're running off and going and selling their crypto. Okay. So think about that for just a moment. I'm not saying you shouldn't heed this advice. I'm not saying you should or shouldn't. That's why we're long-term holders. They're saying this because they're coming collapsing down, right? We're going to have a very, very bearish market. As they bring in the new Fed now services, RTP, real-time payments, as they bring in CBDCs, and as cryptocurrency becomes legit and your banks start to house your cryptocurrency and the master accounts get set up, cryptocurrency, I believe as we get in 2025, we'll see some very nice price appreciation. So get that long-term fundamental hat on. And this is another thing you want to think about right here, guys. This case, this is John Deaton. Um, I love John Deaton. He's a dear friend of well, mine. Well, well, um, well, but well. I wanted to walk you guys through this really quickly. Think about this. So we got the FedNow services launching that we got conf confirmation in 2023. G20 is launching its rules for global crypto regulation in October. We have the UK launching their their uh, central bank digital currency, I think, in November. And we have the biggest case in history right now in our financial history. And some of you own a piece of that, which is XRP. And I'm going to show you how you can get into Ripple pre-IPO. But check this out. I just wanted, want you to watch a little bit of this of John Deaton uh, with the Ripple case. And it's just it's so interesting that we are so we're part of something massive in history. So think about the manipulation. So JP Morgan, once again, is saying, sell all your cryptocurrency. We got the Gary Gensler with the SEC case. But just listen to what he says and how how unbelievably um, what do you call it? Uh, two sided. This is from the SEC. Gensler penning an op-ed in The Wall Street Journal last week, defending what some are calling his aggressive approach to regulating the cryptocurrency industry, firing back in a Fox Business op-ed. Lawyer John Deaton, who is representing more than 75 or more than 70,000 XRP investors in a class action lawsuit against the SEC. John Deaton joins me now with Charlie Gasparino, who's been closely following the SEC's ongoing lawsuit with the crypto company Ripple. Charlie, what you got? Uh, I don't have a lot. He has. <laughs> um, you know, Spotlight she said 75,000. She said 75,000. It's, and then she corrected the 70. Yeah. Is it 75? 72,500. You're right. Look Almost the first time. So, we'll settle in the middle. so you represent the, the, the XRP holders. I do. You, you don't, you're not carrying any water for Ripple. Absolutely this not. Is, this is you, your, your case that you believe that the XRP shareholders have been like collateral damage, roadkill, so to speak. Uh, and that's the, I think the point that you made pretty pretty well in the in the uh, in the column comparing them to the oranges in the Holy case. Now we will not get into that because that will take the t entire entire show and the whole, whole the Howie right Howie case. Howie case. Howie case is what determines if the SEC has the authority to go after you because you didn't file like they're saying Ripple and XRP did. Right? You're saying that nah, you're, you're stretching the boundaries. Last I heard, and I think the last time you were on the show, 
uh, the SEC was trying to get me thrown off the case. <laughs> they don't like you. So wh wh where does that sit? Yes. Well, thank you for having me, Lauren. Thank you for meeting you. Uh, good to meet you. Listen, 72,500 people from over 142 countries around the world have joined together. These are the people that Gary Gensler swore to protect. And instead of talking to us and reaching out to us, he filed a motion, his SEC lawyers filed a motion to revoke our standing in court, which means revoke our amica status, and personally had me thrown off the court. So where's the case? case? You, you well, the judge home. ignored their silly uh, request. Uh, basically, I'm still allowed to participate. But you want to know who Gary Gensler does have time for? He's met Vanguard seven times since being SEC chair. Why is that relevant? Because Vanguard manages 90% of his 121, 120 million fortune. Okay, let's just let's just stop right there. Think about that. The hypocrisy is insane. Insane hypocrisy, Warriors. Think about that. So he'll meet with Vanguard, who's connected to BlackRock, who's connected to Coinbase, who has Aladdin, the most sophisticated AI trading. Vanguard is connected to BlackRock. Let's go through this. But he mo won't meet with the SEC or the XRP holders, right? Think about that, Warriors. Those who control the money, control the information, control the people. So this is the wild stuff that's happening. So you got Gary Gensler, right, who's got a massive portfolio, right, who was over the CFTC, who was an insider in Wall Street, who now runs your SEC, who throw they throw out a Ripple case. He continues on the Ripple case as Jay Clayton goes to consult for a cryptocurrency fund. Bill Hinman consults for a cryptocurrency fund. We're on the verge of either the biggest blowout in history inside the the uh, inside the the feds, the SEC, the CFTC, all this stuff, or this conceived con casino casino is going to continue on. That either way, you're part of history. Think about it. that's what I look at. I'm not worried about the little price appreciation and all this stuff. I'm I'm worried about being part of history, history. Okay, Attorney John Deaton says that Ripple investors lost 15 billion due to the SEC mistake. So again, Wars, they don't care about you. They don't care about your portfolios. They don't care about you. They don't. And so that's why we're out here doing our own research. Trust me, 99% of the stuff you read in the news is based on a narrative that they're working to sell news to scare the shit out of you. I've been in fake news wars. I've seen it for myself. I've given them my response and they do the complete opposite. They're ruthless. They don't care. So why would we sit back and do nothing about it? That's what we talk about with freedom. Every they have the, they have the people who put the FUD news out about me. That they have the right to do that. They can say whatever you want. That's their paradigm. That's why I don't get offended. That's why I did my press release and was positive. And I can say what I want on my YouTube channel. So that's where we're at, warriors. So again, don't trust a word I say. Trust the feeling and vibration it creates in your body and act accordingly. Right? If you want to believe the news, then believe the news. If you want to believe a, a long-haired guy in a tank top that they talked about on Business Insider, then believe me. Don't believe – believe yourself. That's what I'm trying to get you to do. But, Warriors, I want to continue to bring this to you guys. Link to – it's L-I-N-Q-T-O. I'll put it in the description down below. You can – they're fully subscribed right now, but they open up stocks all the time. You can get into Ripple pre-IPO, okay, if you're a credited investor, okay, if credited investor. You know, if uh, remember, this is – this is – would be a security. This is stock pre-IPO. Not guaranteed they'll IPO, but Brad Garlinghouse says they will. But there's all these other companies you can get into pre-IPO. Okay, if you're a credited investor. So dive into that. Take a look at that when you click the link. But if you're not a credit investor, click on Market Insights. If you just get a uh, download uh, an account, dude, this stuff is amazing. If you click on here, you'll see what they do. It's called the Mosaic Score, and you'll see how they value companies. So if you're not a credit investor, this type of acumen is going to get your reticular activating system operating in that accredited investor state of mind. So you can see how we look at cryptocurrencies, how we look at different protocols to make sure we're investing in great companies. A Mosaic Score gives you the overall score of a company and how they value these companies. Worse. We're just here to give you information to help you make informed decisions right? So I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Just remember, don't let this news manipulate you guys. Make good decisions. Be a long-term investor. If you believe in the cryptocurrency you're invested in, then hold it long-term. As Warren Buffett says, if you only got 20 stock picks and you research those 20 stock picks, you're going to pick some winners that are going to change your life. Don't let these people fudge you in, fudge you out. You are a warrior. Warriors, ah, let's get your shit together. Let's go.